Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to the 100 Moving Company Marketing Tips we're doing uh, here at Rothman PPC. Um, we are on tip number 12, and that tip is basically to let customers know that you are here to help. Um, what I'm trying to get across is that moving is severely traumatic. Uh, it's trauma-inducing. Um, apparently, besides, um, apparently, it's it, there's. I guess there's been studies out there or something that it moving is really like on par with some of the most stressful events in our lives, uh, including having a close loved one die. So moving is not some, something that humans are supposed to do very often. It's not in our nature, um, and. It, it is horrible. Uh, I just went through it myself, and I'm someone that talks to moving customers every single day uh, when I give out moving leads. Uh, I talk to moving companies every single day. I market for moving companies every single day on AdWords. I know the moving business, um, and I knew all of that going in to my move that happened about, um, about four weeks ago now, and I knew it all. I knew I was supposed to be prepared. I knew that it was going to be really hard. I knew how to find a moving company. I knew how to deal with them. I knew everything. And it was still severely traumatic. Uh, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. Um, and I had a good moving company. I had a good moving company uh, for good cost. And, and everything on paper went smooth. Uh, but it was still a horrible traumatic event. And I'm on week four now. And for the first time since I moved into my new place, I finally feel like, <sighs> All right, the move's over. We did it. We're going to be here for years and years and years now. And uh, I'm not going to have to do that again, uh, maybe ever. So I'm finally feeling okay and moved in and, and happy about everything. And But the three weeks after the move and, of course, the two weeks leading up to the move, they were traumatic. They were horrible, horrible. And I, 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 I feel like I've just come out of something. I feel like I've come out of a traumatic event and my move went good. So the point I want to make to everyone is you have to think like a customer and what customers know if they've ever moved before is that moving is horrible. It's the worst day of the year, hands down, uh, for your customers. It's traumatic and as much as you can do to make everything go right as a moving customer and a person doing person who's moving there's still a high percentage chance that it's going to be a horrible, um, a horrible experience. So what you can do as a moving company to take advantage of that is to convey through your marketing efforts uh, to to potential customers that you get it. Uh, you know how traumatic moving is. Um, you're here to help. You do moves every day of the month, multiple moves. You've done over X amount of moves over the last Y amount of years. Uh, convey to people in your marketing that you get how horrible moving is and you get how traumatic it is and that you are here to help solve that problem and you will solve that problem and you promise those customers it will be a smooth experience we're gonna make it as easy as possible and we're gonna take care of all the moving stuff and all you have to worry about is everything else that's a joke because when you move there's other stuff to worry about besides moving but as a moving company you're gonna take care of everything moving related and you're gonna kinda of cross that item off their checklist and all the stress and trauma uh, that's normally associated with moving you're gonna erase all of that eliminate it and they're not gonna have any problems in the moving uh, uh, process and it's gonna be the most successful le least stressful least traumatic move they're, they're ever going to have in their life. That's the kind of messaging you want to get across. Um, to me, after going through my move, it's common sense that that's the kind of messaging and marketing you want to get across to uh, potential moving customers. But I think what happens is that when you're in the moving business, you do uh, you know maybe 50, maybe 100 moves a month. And you know what you're doing. You know it's really not that bad. You get your guys do a great job, move after move, and you start to feel comfortable in, in the moving um, process and in the moving uh, industry. But you have to take yourself out of that and think like a customer thinks and feel like a customer feels. Where 
wow, okay, I only move once every five or seven years. This is a horrible experience. I'm scared. That's what your customers are thinking. So stop thinking like someone who's in the business, who's comfortable with it, and start thinking like a customer who's not comfortable with it and who's scared of this stress and trauma that's going to be coming in their lives because of this upcoming move. Give them ease. Let them know it's not going to be a problem. Give them peace of mind. You, you, you understand how stressful moving is, and you're going to make sure that there's no problems with the moves and it goes as smoothly as possible and everything's going to be great. So that, that's the marketing tip for this uh, uh, 12th video. And I, I think it's a real good one. And I think not a lot of moving companies are thinking like customers and actually uh, getting to that kind of messaging when they're doing their marketing. So thanks for watching, everybody. We will be back with episodes uh, or tips number 13 through 100 uh, in the upcoming uh, days and weeks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And please uh, share these videos on all social medias.